Since the reopening of businesses, thrift stores across Miami have had to come up with new ways to operate amidst a global pandemic. Those that have managed to reopen have since enforced rules mandated by state and local law. With thrift stores selling donated merchandise, customers are aware of the possible risks that come with buying secondhand goods during this time. Many say they disinfect their purchases before using them. Just for me personally, whether it's been during the pandemic or not, um, I choose to wash my clothes in hot, you know, sanitize them. While some thrift stores just encourage customers to wash items before using them, others are going the extra mile to guarantee safety. American Thrift Store, located in Hollywood, never stopped accepting donations even when they were forced to close down in March. To avoid selling contaminated merchandise, they developed a system to quarantine all donations before bringing them to the store. We have to rent trailers where we kind of have to flow the merchandise instead of bringing them directly from homes that might have COVID. We just put them in the trailers so kind of with the time mm -hmm. the bacteria goes away. Apart from disinfecting donations, stores like American Thrift Store and Goodwill have also set guidelines in place to practice social distancing and keep customers and staff safe. Some of the enforced rules include limited capacity, social distance indicators, and required facial coverings. Here in the Goodwill, located in Hollandale Beach, fitting rooms have been closed. Shoppers are prohibited from trying on any clothes items, but can exchange their purchase within seven days of buying them. The limitations are very annoying, but I totally understand why they do have them in place because of COVID, help from spreading. Um, however, when you come to a place to go shopping, obviously you do want to try on the clothes, um, so I do find it very frustrating. This is Juliana Hontu, reporting for the South Florida Media Network.